In this video, we're looking at the polygon sum conjecture. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how to find the sum of the interior angle measures for any polygon. So if we look at this triangle, we already know triangles. I've got one angle over here, I have another angle over here, and I have a third angle over here. These are the three interior angles of the triangle, and we know that for a triangle, the sum of the interior angles equals 180. We know that. So now we're going to use that fact to help us figure out a formula that we can use for other polygons that have more than three sides. So let's take a look at this chart here. Um, We've got our different uh, polygons on the left, and then we have a column for the polygon name, number of sides, number of diagonals from one vertex. So we're going to draw just the diagonals from one vertex. Once we draw the diagonals, we're going to figure out the number of triangles that are formed, and then we'll have the sum of the measure of the interior angles. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and pause the video and just write the polygon name and the number of sides, five different polygons here. Go ahead and pause the video and fill in these first two columns. And then when you're finished with that, go ahead and restart the video. All right, so hopefully you've got uh, three, four, five, six, and eight. And if you had any trouble with the polygon names, um, just refer back to your notes. They should all be in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our pictures here on the left and draw the diagonals from one vertex. So in a triangle here, there's no way to draw a diagonal because remember, a diagonal connects any two non-consecutive sides. So sides are uh, angles that aren't next to each other. So in a triangle, every vertex is right next to the other two vertices. So there are zero diagonals from any vertex. The number of triangles in the picture is one. And the sum of the measures of the interior angles we already know is 180 degrees. So let's move on to our quadrilateral. So I'm going to pick a vertex. We only have to pick one vertex. And the diagonals that I can draw from that would be one. I can draw one diagonal. So number of diagonals from one vertex, that's one. So the number of triangles that we formed here, we can see now I've divided my quadrilateral into two triangles. So two triangles. Now. This triangle has 180 degrees, and this triangle has 180 degrees. So the sum of the measures of the interior angles then would be 360. All right, let's move on to our pentagon. Let's pick a vertex. We'll just pick this one on the top. I can draw a diagonal here. I can draw a diagonal here. That's about it. So the number of diagonals I can draw from the single vertex that I picked is 2. And the number of triangles that I formed is 3. So again, this triangle has 180. This triangle has 180. This triangle has 180. So 180 times 3 is 540 degrees. OK, so moving on to six sides, our hexagon. Again, we'll pick any vertex. I'll just pick this one down at the bottom, and we'll draw in our diagonals. There's one. There's two. Let's fix that one. There's two. And there's three. So I have three diagonals. I've divided it into one, two, three, four triangles. So each triangle is going to have 180 degrees, so that's going to be 180 times 4, or 720 degrees. And lastly, we have our octagon. So we'll pick a vertex. I'll pick this one. You can pick whatever one you like. And then we'll draw in the diagonal. So there's a non-consecutive vertex. There's another one. There's another one. And last one here. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 diagonals. I divided it into one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. Each triangle is going to have 180, so I have 180 times six, 
which gives me 1080 degrees. So if I add it up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I added up those eight interior angles, it would add up to 1080 degrees. So what I want to look at here is I want to look at the number of sides compared to the number of triangles that I can form. And let's look for a pattern. For a triangle, there's one triangle. For a quadrilateral, there's two triangles. So we're looking at a pattern between number of sides and number of triangles. For a pentagon, it has five sides and three diagonals six sides, four diagonals, eight sides, six diagonals. So we can see here that to go from the number of sides to the number of triangles, we're going to subtract two. So there's always two less triangles than the number of sides. So let's say our polygon um, had n sides. If our polygon had n sides, it would have, well, if it has n sides, it's going to have two less triangles. We saw that pattern in our chart here it would have n minus 2, so 2 less, that's subtracting 2, triangles if we drew the diagonals from 1 vertex, just like we did in the chart. Okay, so each one of these triangles would have 180 degrees so that gives us a formula here the sum of the interior angles I'm going to use a little subscript I is going to be the number of triangles we could make which is always two less than the number of sides so n minus 2 times 180 degrees for each triangle all right so we're going to use this formula all the time and uh, let's go ahead and just rewrite this here in our uh, summarize box here. What is the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a polygon with any given number of sides? So sum of the interior angles is equal to n minus 2 times 180 where s sub i equals sum of interior angles n equals number of sides all right and then in the next video we'll look at a few problems so we'll get a little practice in and then you'll get some more practice in uh, finishing up the notes so as always if you have questions make sure you uh, get those answered um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video